In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the X-Men Tornado V3. Let's go. So this is the X-Men Tornado V3. This is the Pioneer and UV coated version, so it has the maglev system, and it is more grippier than the normal versions. It also comes with the magnetic core. The cube is 56mm compared to the previous version of the Tornado V2, that is 55mm. In the box, there is a magnet adjustment tool, a credit card, <laughs> a microfiber cloth, a pamphlet, a bag for the cube, and the box for the cube. The box also has magnets as well. Kinda reminds me of the GTS2M. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the box comes with this tutorial thing as well, but you don't really need it because you have JPerm or just any other YouTuber really, but yeah, that's really it. The cube has a magnet and dual adjustment as well. For the magnets, if you want stronger magnets, you use the tool in the box and turn the magnet clockwise. And if you want weaker magnets, you can use the tool to turn the magnet counterclockwise. So if we take off the center caps, we can see the dual adjustment system. This cube doesn't need a tool to adjust the system, all you need to do is lift the handle here. Which I can't do because I don't have fingernails. For the tensioning, to adjust the axis distance, you turn the system counterclockwise. And to adjust the spring, or shall I say magnet tension, you turn the system clockwise. 1 means the loosest setting, and 5 means the tightest setting. As for the turning, the cube was very fast out of the box when I got it. For corner cutting, it can do over 45 degrees, but for reverse corner cutting, it's quite bad, just like the Tornado V2. See what I mean? Yeah. That's why you can kind of see it locking up during my solves in my last comp, because it wasn't corner cutting well. Now the main question is, is the cube still the best cube in 2023? I would just say it's one of the best, but I wouldn't say it is the best considering the Worm V9 came out and it has quite a better performance than the Tornado V3. I think if you set up the Tornado V3 well, then it definitely has the potential of being your new main, but out of the box, it isn't the best nor it, it is bad, really. Other than that, I think this cube is definitely worth a try, as it has a very quiet and smooth feeling. You can get the cube for £38, that is 45 American dollars. I'm still getting used to the cube, but you will probably see me maining this cube in a couple of months time. Make sure to like, share and subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos coming really soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!